I heard people talking about using drones to fly over the yards to see uh, the car inventory. Just found this in here. <sighs> yep, does not work. You guys, I think I found it. Right here. For the Civic. <laughs> While I still have it. Yo, I may get that. This car right here, I came last week. I watched it drop. And uh, it is an EP3 SI 5 speed. And this car was 100% complete when I, uh, when I saw it drop. So, because I couldn't take the motor and stuff, because I wasn't here for it, um, I took the ECU. So I got the ECU last week. Now I'm back here today on the 40% uh, off all engine transmission, so on and so forth. Now this transmission was butter as hell. And on top of that, it was 100% complete under the hood. But let me show you guys what these fuckers do to these cars in the junkyard. So this engine bay, motor, everything was complete when I got here. And today I came here again to see if I can score the K20 A3 motor. If not the motor, the transmission. These are sought out for, for the turbo guys, um, five speed transmission. And now that I'm looking at it, whoever came and took all the shit apart, pretty much fucked up everything along the way. You see this? Really? It's really not that hard to take off a slave, bro. They fucked this shit up. Now I can buy it, weld it up, tap it and uh, have a new whole location but <sighs> probably gonna pull it anyway so me and Tyga's gonna get to work and um, I'm gonna walk the rest of the yard and probably hit one more yard before we get back to the house but I initially came in for this I at least found this part so I can at least weld this back now typically you don't weld this unless you completely torch it otherwise it'll distort and then crack further but I've done it before. God damn. He just needs the underglow, bro. Holy moly. You see this pic? Well, wow, I am I am inspired. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back here in the garage. Me and Tago went to a couple different junkyards to see uh, what engines are out there, how many mileage. Kind of went around just kind of looking for engines to buy as spares because from today, Monday until Thursday, it's 40% off. So I got the transmission for 100 bucks or 110 bucks, but I got to turn in the core, which I don't have. But at the end of the day, Transmission for a hundred bucks is really cheap and if I sell the EP35 speed to somebody who's trying to turbo their car and have better gearing I can make a pretty good profit off of it. So the last junkyard uh, Me and Tiger went to we didn't really bring tools in there We just went to go scout and we did notice that there was a JDM B18B LS motor and the car itself has a hundred and eighty one thousand miles So I may go back later this week to try to swoop the block and there was also a JDM B20B in the CRV that was 211,000 miles. Not sure if I want to scoop that, but definitely the LS motor uh, whenever I find time this week, hopefully before the sale ends. Don't really have much planned for today other than waiting for Joe to get off of work in a couple of hours. He's going to be bringing the wagon here so we can start prepping his car for turbo. And in the meantime, um, I'm actually waiting for my cousin to come over here right now with his truck. And then we're going to be cleaning out the garage. I need to move I'm at this point where I just I just need to move all of this stuff out of the garage um, for a lot of reasons, personal reasons, but I just want to be prepared if 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 it came down to it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna be moving a lot of my stuff. Like I'm still debating if I want to take the shelf down or take the shelf to the storage or downsize the shelf here in the garage so it's not big and bulky. More space means more reason for me to shove more things uh, on there. So so I may downsize this shelf. Or just leave it there and just move the heavier stuff into storage. Obviously, the two blocks I'm not using right now is going to go in. The 24A2 is going. My build head is staying. That engine is probably going to be staying here because I'm going to use that for mock-up of downpipes and, you know, turbo kits and stuff. All of this, B20 VTEC, spare transmission, all of this stuff is going into the storage. Um, I use this every day. That stays here. And then, like, rims, I'm, I'm taking all the wheels to the storage, all of the slicks to the storage since track just passed. 
all the wheels and stuff that are stacked in that corner all that's gonna go so I got the first batch over here um, ready to head to the storage now the place closes at 930 and I have maybe three hours or so to offload and try to shoot for a second trip now my cousin did help me he just took off so he's got all the slicks and other rims in the car while I have a lot of blocks engines and stuff back here transmission in the back a lot of rims back here as well too because I like to hoard them for no reason and it's only about <laughs> Uh, like 20% of the stuff that I'm trying to bring to the storage so um, th this this may take several of days of hauling because I have a van and everybody else that has a truck works storage time Unfortunately, this storage you cannot work in here um, Not that I was trying to anyways It's nice to know that they got lights in here and it's on the timer so in case you forget or whatever it turns off but we have Like a quarter of my stuff here. So this is the new transmission. We picked up today the k 20 a3 and I'm probably gonna put it up for sale But first I want to try to repair this um, Really not in a rush to sell it in case I want to slap this with the k24 a2 Boost it in a future project, whatever. I have a five-speed transmission This is a box of random stuff from Chad's EG if you guys don't remember that from a couple months ago That is the blown B18C type R that is a GSR that was donated to the channel spare all-wheel drive tranny um, Spare LS block we got my wet sports over there my Bogart rears my RB fronts down there are my 24 uh, matching Bogarts, my VMSs, my 15 inch Bogarts because these are for my wagons when uh, I was running slicks with the big brake kit. Um, but other than that, I do plan on putting a shelf probably on that side because it, this one has the post on it and then the shelf is going to be about 10 foot which is plenty of room to put one here. And then stack the engines and stuff underneath and then the rack for everything else that I'm gonna be putting in here and then have this whole section in case I want to bring my CRX in here, but um, The CRX is the least of my worries coming in here I just want a lot of my stuff out of the garage and I have full access to this place closes at 930 so Obviously because I'm free I can come here whenever to grab whatever it is that I need so right now probably make a second trip or what? Yeah, yeah, so B20 VTEC k24 a2 round two except I'm, I'm leaving the van this time and uh we're gonna go offload that and you know i'll take care of the other small stuff later when i go grab some totes so i can give me a reason to clean and organize the garage throw away a lot of crap that i don't need um and obviously organize everything in totes so we can uh have it organized into storage instead of pulling stuff individually one by one we pull them totes at a time so let's go okay guys so before we get on out of here all right guys so before we get on out of here i'm gonna show you guys uh some of the stuff that i brought from my house i kind of spoke earlier on what is here but what we just hauled here was the b20 vtec and the k24a2 because i'm not going to be touching these engines for a while uh the stuff that i need for the all-wheel drive crx to come here soon it's already at the house this is just the engines that probably are just chilling here for future projects all of my slicks um, wheels that I'm not going to be using. The slipstreams are going to be here as well too, but I'm going to switch it out with the ITRs uh, before I bring the slipstreams here. Got to get some more dollies for these guys so everything is fully rollable. Um, these are some heavy duty ones. They got some really good wheel bearing and uh, they roll like literally I can just kick it and it'll just keep going all the way out. But this is progress. The garage is still looking like a mess because I was going through everything trying to, you know, pick and choose what I wanted to bring here this is a 10 by 40 unit so it's we could put three cars in here if we wanted to still still gonna be looking for a shelf just so we can stack up instead of stacking forward so we can uh, stay having room you know what I mean I'm not sure if they trip here to work on cars or whatever but this is like a good place to really like wrench on cars or wrench on engines and stuff you know what I mean since they are already here but that's the least of my worries. We have light, we have outlet, and 
um, it's pretty secluded like there's really nobody to really bother over here but um, aside from that guys this is the storage unit to get the garage to look more like a garage so um, probably later this week we're gonna bring a lot more stuff here and prob probably maybe this video or I don't know if you guys enjoy boosted boys loft video um, I know I did I hope you guys enjoyed the um, cleaning of my garage because I want to make it into a loft and just kind of have more space in there to walk around and um, you know reorganize change a few things get a bigger toolbox so on and so forth but um, yeah let's go get faded hair faded not drinking faded so guys we are back here in the garage the next day and Last night, I did get my hair faded from my cousin. We spent the rest of the night at his place just kind of talking about a lot of things and uh, came home here pretty late. Now, if you guys saw, we were scrambling through the garage trying to find the bigger items that we were going to take to the storage. So when I got home last night, I stayed in the garage till about 12.30. I was cleaning the garage, the walk space. I had stuff laid out everywhere. Obviously, over there in that corner still jam-packed, but... What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to clean uh, that section, all the turbo stuff that's on the floor over there, and consolidate everything that belongs to the CRX swap into the tote that's on top right there. So when the time comes to work on the CRX again, everything is organized in that tote and I don't have to run around and try to figure out uh, where I place everything. But I'm not gonna show you guys the cleaning in this video because I don't wanna, you know, bore you guys with it I've done it plenty of times before but I am going to take you guys along once I clear out the garage and what I'm going to be doing as far as you know changing the whole layout I'm hoping to get a new toolbox soon so I can organize my tools a little bit better and uh, get rid of this whole cluster jam in this corner as well too so you guys have to stick around for that now I did say Joe was going to bring his car yesterday and uh, while we were at the storage Joe did drop off his car right there and this video may just be short because I want to get started on Joe's car and you guys should know if you guys watch the videos we are turboing Joe's car but I'm gonna save all of that content for its own video and not merge it with this one I'm gonna wrap it up for this video because the less I pick up the camera the more work I can get done and if you guys want to stick around for the boost process on Joe's wagon be sure to hit the subscribe button and now with that being said I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and always remember progress is better than no progress so go out in your garage and start wrenching whether it's five minutes or ten hours as long as progress is being made so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace